Hey everybody, it's Zach and I like movies and today I am doing a new prompt for the Criterion Challenge for 2024. This is prompt 45 where I watch a movie from the 1960s and uh, for this one I chose a great little movie uh, by the great Samuel Fuller and this is The Naked Kiss. Now, Sam, now, Samuel Fuller is probably most famous for being a great pulp director. He has, he did westerns in like 40 guns, uh, 40 guns. Uh, he did, he did war pictures in like with uh, Hell and High Water, not to be confused with Hell or High Water. Uh, but he's probably m most known for his noir movies like, say, uh, The Crimson Kimono or, or Pick Up on South Street. Neat. And even The Naked Kiss here. And what's interesting about The Naked Kiss is that, stylistically, it is basically a cross between pulp noir and Hollywood melodrama. But like, and, but like, oof, it, 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 the beginning of it kind of sets a tone. A really interesting tone. So, 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 uh, it opens on this POV shot of a prostitute named Kelly just going to town on a drunk pip with her shoe, just like wailing on him. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like trying he's like trying to get away because he's like she's like whacking him with her shoe and then in this and then like the, the scuffle he like pulls off her wig and she is like strikingly bald well and then she just she like knocks she like knocks him to the ground sprays his face with seltzer water takes him and like i'm only taking the 75 dollars it's coming to me it's like and then she like puts her wig back on and as the credits roll she like just refixes her hair to this sweet nice music like that that's a tone like boom that's an opener what like wow like what it's a it's an opener that really just kind of like throws you for a loop like you just kind of like you kind of don't know what 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 all you're in for but you know you're in for something special so kelly makes it into a new town and it's it is just picture perfect americana suburbs you know, all the women are saints who work at a hospital for disabled children. Uh, the local philanthropist named Grant, uh, he is super sweet and donates funds to the hospital. Kids skip and play on the sidewalk, and it's just so pleasant and quaint, like a Norman Rockwell painting. <clears throat> and uh, Kelly, and, uh, Kelly uh, eventually meets Griff, who is the local police captain. And he... Griff is a hit. Griff, Griff, Griff is a Griff is a hypocrite because uh, he's he's clearly like a he's clearly like a like brown nosing her about like yo know, being a former prost being a former prostitute is like hey I'm, hey I don't hey I don't like it's all like oh I don't like you and you know, but at the same time he's like goes to this this burlesque dive bar that's like across the town and like he's a, and like all the girls know him. Like he's a regular there. Like even he's like, oh, like oh yeah, he's totally like, he's totally giving her hell for like being a prostitute. But he totally, he totally comports with the other prostitutes there. Uh, you also get like, you also get this, you get this some great noir dialogue from him, like, like a, like this one line: "You and me will get along like noise in a hangover if you pitch a tent in my bivouac." Uh, and it's so yeah, God, that's real. That's real good stuff. Uh, and Samuel Fuller, he absolutely nails this atmosphere of a seemingly nice and pleasant town with a, with a dark underbelly, like, just, just out of the, out of reach. Reach. It's kind of similar to what David Lynch does in, like, Twin Peaks and Blue Velvet. And actually, speaking of, speaking of David Lynch, there are a few scenes, a few striking scenes of these, this atmospheric, bordering on surreal, often off-putting uh, imagery. Uh, for, uh, for example, like Kelly, she gets kind of like, she's being, she's being seduced by the, by the rich philanthropist Grant. And uh, he's showing her a reel of like this hand, this handheld camera of vacation of Italy. And he's like, and he tells her, and if you listen, and if you like close your eyes and listen, you could hear the music there. there. And she's imagining like, like being rowed in uh, along the uh, the Venetian waters, she's like she's like she can like sees these flowers surrounded by the couch. She imagines like a guy like 
rowing the couch <laughs> with her and Grant romantically. And she gets all, she's, it's just her getting all swept up in this romance. And, and, uh, she, and also she works at the hospital and there's a scene uh, with, uh, with, for, working for these disabled kids. And she's very, she, it's where she's finally able to, like, have this, like, wholesome image that, uh, if not wholesome, at least this very presentable image that she's finally, that she's really been struggling to achieve. Even like, and now hell, especially from like our first impression of her, with her just like going to town on a pimp. Uh, you you can tell that she's this is probably something that she's been struck, been fighting for for a while. Like Kelly is a fighter. She's a she's real sweet and she's real, and she's a real compassionate person. But she takes no gumption. She doesn't she doesn't take any shit. And uh, and uh, there's this it's a it's a bit of a weird scene where the the kids put on this little recital they seen it they seen this song and it's a and like lyrics it's a very sweet beautiful song but like it's it's the it's a down tempo and so it feels a little weirder and then you have and like fuller has the kids sing this directly into the camera camera in these like close-up shots and it's it co comes off as off more off-putting than it and then anything else and you sort of it does give the idea that like there is something a little more to this town like you know it's and, and uh you you find find that out in a really in a really shocking twist like oh, i was really I, it's a twist that i was really surprised by I, by and the the way that Fuller shoots this, you sort of realize you you realize this twist along with Kelly. It's very gradually, and uh, like Kelly come like Kelly Kelly finally agrees to marry Grant, and she's you know and she's she's walking you know she's walking down the street. She has this uh, this wedding dress and a box in her arms, arms and like oh the kids are, kids are smiling and happy. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. She walks into and she walks into Grant's house and she's sitting down and she's wait and she's waiting for him and then she like sees a little girl just like like run run past her like what what was that and then grant and then grant comes in and he confesses to her that he's a pedophile and he tries to ju and he and he and like like the and like but like the way she like the way he said talks the way he like describes himself oh and like the way the look on kelly's face is just this horrified just shattered look and, and like he tries to just he like justifies this and like and also his attraction for her as like well you're a prostitute so you also know about sexual perversion so you my so you understand my sexual perversion and it's like, oh my god, oh my god, and ah, and like as as the scene is playing out, the recording of the song that the kids sang at the at their recital is playing, so it just makes it even more fucked up. Up, <laughs> and Kelly just completely, completely devastated, just like whacks whacks Grant over the head and kills him instantly. And she, yeah, and she takes out a wedding veil, puts it over her head, and just like sits there on the couch, looking like a ghost. It's, it's a, it's a scene that like comes, not almost, not out of nowhere because they did lead up to it with like the little folk, the little attention and focus on the children, but like, uh, the the way it's like revealed and like the, the ground from underneath you is just like destroyed. It it really is an overwhelming moment. And then, then the next, then the next scene is like her being arrested, and like her image is totally destroyed because it's because the newspapers just say Grant slain by prostitute, and oh, it's just you, your heart just your heart just goes out for Kelly. And I have to say, Constance Towers as Kelly is incredible. Like I've, uh, I'm, I'm she's probably best known, like career wise as 
being an actor off of General Hospital, but she is incredible in this, and she's so comp she is so compassionate. She's so tough, and she's so she's she's like such a a wounded social pariah, just trying to make herself trying to like trying to put her life in a be in a better place, and trying to like keep her in trying trying to get her work her way to like get this image of her that. Uh, is somewhat presentable for, uh, for you know, the classic American life. Uh, and uh, and uh, on the one hand, I wouldn't say that this movie is uh, necessarily pro-sex work, uh, but especially for the time that it came out in 1964, it does treat it, the sex workers with humanity. Uh, whether whether it's whether it's uh, uh, whether it's Kelly. Or these other uh, these uh, these other like brothel workers uh, work uh, work uh, at the Burlex Barn Lee or uh, uh, named Candy, and uh, and uh, <laughs> and it's a, it's very it is a very current of the day uh, kind of movie uh, about how everybody makes assumptions about a person based on their image and even their first impression of them, and how that image can then be used against them. Uh, when they sort of break societal norms. And it's also current to the day because, hey, just like in 1964, we also have problems trying to prosecute rich pedophiles. But uh, after that, the movie uh, uh, gradually kind of wraps up a little a little neatly. But uh, uh, but uh, uh, Kelly Kelly decides to leave. The nurses, all her nurse friends, wish her the best of luck. But, like, there's a moment where, like, one of the final moments is, like, the, sh like, the town... The townspeople so so crowding around her, just glaring at her with virile hatred. Just you have like like they blame they blame her for like shattering their blissful ignorance, and especially they blame this prostitute for shattering their blissful ignorance. They only see her now as a prostitute. To and you know the final shot is her effectively being shunned out of the town that was supposed to be her escape. Now she has to go out and search for another one. And I don't know where she's going, but I wish her the best. And I wish you would you would see, would see this movie cuz it's really good. It's a it's a ooh, it's a striking movie, it's a shocking movie. It's a and it's uh, the way it's like so hard-nosed in some of its like noir elements, whether it's like in some of the dialogue and uh some of the ways it like approaches like uh, the 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 more like um, shocking uh, boundary pushing for the time uh, elements to it, and it's and it's so it's also can be very sweet and almost kind of wholesome and like it's more melodramatic moments, and I th and uh, yeah this is a it's a great movie and Samuel Fuller it should be a name that I want you to know more of more of and uh, if you're looking to if you're looking to watch this uh, it is. It is streaming on Criterion Channel. You can own it physically through Criterion. It's a great. It's uh, I hear it's a great release. I definitely need to definitely need to put that on my shelf. But uh, if I have to recommend another Samuel Fuller movie, I have to recommend Pick Up on the South Street. Here, this is a great movie by starring the wonderful actor Richard Whit Richard Whitmark and Gene Peters. Peters, where it's a it's a noir like little uh, pickpocket movie. That gets wrapped up in like this uh, Red Scare era communist spy <laughs> plot. It's very, very good. Good, and I, I'll, I'll see anything Richard Wimbark is in, and anything Samuel Fuller directs. So yeah, have to, have to recommend those. Definitely recommend The Naked Kiss. Uh, if I have to reductive rate, I don't know. I give this a strong eight, strong eight out of ten, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's a uh, that is uh, the. That is uh, the episode. That's the re that's the review. Uh, did you see the Naked Kiss? Did, have you seen any Samuel Fuller movies? Uh, I hope you check this out. I hope and uh, I will be continue. <laughs> I will be watching movies, and I hope you do too. So see ya.